This was my first book, and it was, it's called The Friends of Emily Culpepper, and it was the author's first book, Anne Coleridge. She was a scientist, and she'd never written any books before, and she sent me this story, and Roland Harvey is a, an illustrator who wanted to be a publisher and do books, uh, and so we decided we would publish it. I loved the story. When I did this book, I started to experiment with, with watercolour, and I taught myself to use watercolour, and I fell in love with it. It's a, I use watercolour. 40 years later, I'm still using watercolour. So here's, here's an example of a watercolour sky, and you can see it's really grainy and cloudy, and it's lovely. So this book was a transition for, for, for me. One of the things I liked about the story was that it was, it was re a really simple story, and it's got a surprise ending. And Anne left me... Um, to tell a lot of the story through my pictures, which was, which was nice. Uh, so the Friends of Emily Culpepper, and it's set in England, um, and was the first book I ever illustrated. In a quiet green valley is a village. This is one of the kinds of illustrations I do a lot, is the bird's eye view, looking down, so that you can show the big picture where the story's set, and then you zoom in. In the village is a row of cottages. In the last cottage in the row lives Emily Culpepper. Can you spot Emily there? She's looking out of the window. Emily Culpepper's an old lady who enjoys cooking and travelling, but most of all she enjoys talking to her friends. If you look carefully, you'll see all sorts of clues that tell you that Emily is not just any old lady, she's, a, she's got a particular secret. One of her friends was the milkman. So she made him small and put him in a jam jar so that she could talk to him any time she wanted to. So she's got blackberry jam, strawberry jam, 1951, kumquat marmalade, milkman and raspberry jam, 1980. Another of her friends was the postman. So she made him small and put him in a coffee jar and kept him on the windowsill. Another of her friends was the plumber. So she made him small and put him in a pickle jar on the mantelpiece. Every day she lets her friends out onto the kitchen table so that they, they can eat their lunch. In the afternoons, she put them into a, an old doll's house to play. There's a toilet there too, just in case. Sometimes it was difficult to catch them and put them back in their jars again. But the hunt was quite exciting. Can you see the postman and the milkman and the plumber? One day, a policeman came to see Emily Culpepper. He said, you can't keep those men here. Their families want them to come home again. Emily Culpepper said, please let me keep them. I look after them very well. But the policeman said, the village people can't manage without a milkman, a postman and a plumber. So Emily Culpepper sadly took the jars out into the garden and let her friends go. Do you think they're still small or are they just further down the road? But Emily Culpepper's not lonely. Every day she lets the policeman out of his jar onto the kitchen table so that he can eat his lunch. In the afternoons, she puts him into an old doll's house to play. Sometimes it's difficult to catch him and put him back in his jar again, but the hunt is quite exciting. That was my first book, and it's still my favourite book. I did this one in 1981, I think it was, and that's 40 years ago. Um, it's still my favourite book. The 
book was published in England and in America, and the Americans wanted a, a different cover and they wanted a, a different ending. So when, they, when she lets her friends go, they have to be full, full size.